Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video you will learn how to make a responsive layout along with a collapsible sidebar. But we will focus on only making the contents responsive and not the design of the sidebar itself. If you want a dedicated tutorial on the sidebar then you can let me know in the comments. So let's get started. Now let's start by adding a frame. I have named it as main frame and after that I'll add a sidebar which I have already made. So I'll add the sidebar. After adding the sidebar, I'll place this cards. Let's Let assume that these are responsive cards. And if you want to know how to make responsive cards, then check out my last videos. And this one is another layout and another cards just to make it look more complicated. Yeah. So you can use actual cards and text. Add an auto layout to this frame. Add auto layout. Do the same with this one. Add auto layout and then add auto layout to all the contents so for that select them and press shift a to add auto layout to i mean overall content and let's name it as content okay nice now we have our sidebar it should be inside this main frame we have our sidebar and our content ready now what we'll do we will make the whole frame an auto layout so select the frame and press shift a auto layout is added it looks weird but we will fix it so check out this layout panel here you can see it's set to align left we will make it align top left done then we will add some padding for this content let's add 32 as our padding and here also 32 and you can see that we have 32 padding over here but there is an extra space between the content and the sidebar so we will remove it how just select the main frame and decrease or make it zero make the horizontal gap zero and see we have a margin but we have a problem over here see this one is fine but here we have a problem and it's because we have to make each of the rectangle set to fill container so select each of the rectangles and set it to fill container now it's filling up the space do the same with this one you can press enter and then press enter to select both the rectangles then set it to fill container it's fine now let's see how it's how it works so i'll select the sidebar and yes it's fine but the problem here is that the whole um, frame size is changing so we do not want that so what we do when we do not want the size to change we set it to fixed width now see if you collapse the bar the sidebar then the content is shifting towards the left which is fine but we do not want this exactly we want the contents to stretch and not to shift so for that what we'll do we will just select the content frame and then stretch it till till the edge of the main frame and now let's see what happens Yes, it's fine, but again, the same problem. Set it to fill so that it stays within the uh, main frame. And now it's fine. Yes, now it's stretching along with the sidebar. But we have another problem over here. When we are selecting the prototype, you see, we do not want the sidebar to scroll. It should be fixed and only the content should scroll. But here, that is not the case. So we need to fix it. So what we generally do, we generally uh, use this fixed option right but here this option will be disabled and it's because of this auto layout okay so this thing will not work so what we're gonna do first of all I'll adjust the size of the frame okay now this one will stay fixed let's see now this side the, the sidebar will stay fixed it's not scrollable but the content side is also fixed so for that we'll just select it and you see this extra frame we will just uh, pull it up and fit in the screen make sure you align it to the center top and not here because if you place it over here and if I change it then something like this will happen now we can change it to vertical scroll and also we will add some space so we'll maybe pull it up by leaving some space over here now see what happens now see the content is scrollable now and with a space a proper margin and that's how you master the art of creating a responsive collapsible sidebar using Figma auto layout do not forget to like, share and subscribe for more Figma tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Till then, see ya!